Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. Let me say it out loud. I don't trust my government as far as I could spit, as far as I could throw a rock, and you shouldn't either. I love my country, but I don't love our politicians or government bureaucrats. Why would I? History proves that people in government the world over are liars, cheats, frauds, incompetents, common criminals, tyrants, and even murderers. Yet you think I should trust them with my phone records, emails, tax records, and health care? If you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. Let's not worry about the true despots of world history, like Hitler, Stalin, Mao, Castro, or Pol Pot, who enslaved and murdered their own people. Let's ignore King George and the British generals who ordered American colonists burned alive in a locked church. Let's ignore the fact that the U.S. government injected African Americans with syphilis in medical experiments without their knowledge or consent. Let's ignore the fact that FDR sent a boatload of Jews escaping Hitler back to Germany where all of them perished. Let's ignore all those truly terrible and deadly deeds by government. Let's just look at recent history, SEO, since electing Obama. <clears throat> Obama's IRS persecuted honest people for the crime of being conservative critics of Obama, yet nominated proven tax cheats like Tom Daschle, Nancy Killifer, Hinda, uh, Hilda Solis, and Ron Kirk to major positions in the Obama administration. Obama also criticized, actually condemned Mitt Romney for keeping his money in the Cayman Islands, but then named Jack Lew to become Treasury Secretary, even though Lew keeps his money in the Cayman Islands. Do you trust these cheats and hypocrites to monitor your taxes, oversee your health care, or listen to your phone calls? I know I don't. <clears throat> Obama and Hillary lied about Benghazi, ordered Susan Rice to lie to the media for two weeks. Then Obama even lied about the terrorist attack multiple times in front of the United Nations. It now appears Hillary Clinton ordered a cover-up of a prostitution scandal in her own State Department. General James Clapper lied in front of Congress about the NSA surveillance program. But Obama lied even worse. He stated on numerous occasions as a U.S. Senator that he stood against the Patriot Act and other invasions of privacy and violations of civil liberties, that he doubled down as president. No surprise. Obama was a pothead as a young adult. As a politician, he swore he'd curb or completely end the government's war on marijuana. He said he'd never violate a state's laws that had legal medical marijuana. Yet as president, he has doubled spending on the marijuana war, and his administration has literally invaded California to close down marijuana dispensaries that were operating 100% legally based on California state law. The head of the IRS lied in front of Congress about the scandal involving the targeting of conservatives. I know I'm one of the victims that was targeted and persecuted for my political beliefs. Obama claims he knew nothing about the IRS persecution scandal, even though the head of the IRS visited the White House 157 times in Obama's first term. And even though Obama met with the head of the IRS Employees Union the day before the targeting began. Attorney General Eric Holder certainly seems to have lied under oath about spying on journalists, including James Rosen of Fox News and his parents. Holder said he knew nothing about it, and at that moment, he was the one signing the request for surveillance. Then there's the scandals themselves. The IRS scandal, the Benghazi scandal, the Justice Department media spying scandal, the Kathleen Sebelius Obamacare extortion scandal. There are so many scandals I've lost track. Don't forget an oldie but goodie called Fast and Furious. Obama supports strict gun control, but he has no problem selling guns to Mexican drug lords, and no one bothers to keep track of where the guns are until 300 Mexicans and a U.S. border agent were dead. These scandals all tie together. They represent government gone wild. Our government is out of control. It's run by megalomaniacs and control freaks who lie with impunity. Everything is always top secret and on a need to know basis and only they need to know. They will take care of us and protect us whether we like it or not, whether we want it or not, whether we ask for it or not, whether we need it or not, even if it makes things worse. Personally, I think the group we need protecting from is government. I don't want the same government employees who with the IRS decided to persecute conservatives like me to be in charge of surveillance over my phone calls and emails. Do you? If I'm an outspoken critic of Obama, will these government employees decide to listen in on my calls with the intent of finding a reason to persecute me? If I run for office as a Republican, will they be listening into my calls to find dirt on me? Will they be reading my emails to find out my campaign strategy? Of course they will. You'd be an idiot to assume otherwise. We heard under oath that NSA could not listen on a calls. They only compile a list 
of who's calling who and the phone numbers. Then we found out days later that NSA personnel can listen in on any call anytime they choose. My guess is they only listen in on Republicans. After all, to listen in on Muslims would be religious persecution, but persecute Republicans, no problem there. I don't want the same government employees who with the IRS decided to persecute critics of Obama, like me, to be in charge of Obamacare. When I need approval for expensive cancer treatments, will they withhold approval or delay reimbursements until I die? Will they simply make my life miserable while I'm dealing with a life-threatening illness? Will they run targeted death panels by denying treatment to critics of Obama or major GOP donors they don't like? I don't want the government educators who recently held a toy gun buyback program <laughs> at a California school teaching my children. Yes, I said a toy gun buyback program. They asked young children to turn in their toy guns in return for books. Any educator who thought up that program shouldn't be in charge of teaching anyone's children anything. When I publicly criticize the obscene pensions of government employees that are literally bankrupting our country and states and cities and counties, should I trust that angry government employees won't target, persecute, and spy on me? <clears throat> Will they try to put me in prison on trumped up charges or put my business out of business? It all starts with listening in on my calls and reading my emails. Should I assume that the same Obama administration that actually labeled Ron Paul supporters as terrorists and suggested law enforcement pay special attention won't target Rand Paul supporters for destruction if he runs for president in 2016? They won't listen to their calls or emails or audit their tax returns? Should we assume the government won't listen in on the privileged conversations of lawyers and ACLU executives to gain an edge in high-profile trials? Do you honestly believe that if government wants to silence your criticism and dissent, they'll wait for a warrant to listen to your calls? Based on what we've seen with the IRS scandal and what NSA just admitted that they can listen in any time they want, I would expect with, a, with a certainty our government to target conservatives' conversations and emails and then only after finding something they label as questionable, ask a judge for a warrant. Maybe they'll backdate the warrant. What next? Looking through our garbage, tearing open our envelopes at the post office, they do both of those, planting video surveillance or recording devices inside planters placed in our homes and offices, something the IRS was publicly putting out bids for only days ago until public pressure made them back down. Based on the IRS scandal, the Justice Department scandal, the Benghazi cover-up, the Sebelius extortion scandal, the non-stop lies under oath of government employees and even our president, why would anyone trust government to do the right thing? If you're smart, you should always assume they will always do the wrong thing. Trust government? Trust the IRS? Trust the NSA? Trust Obama? You're kidding, right? I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. See you next week. Same time, same place. God bless America because we are losing it minute by minute. Bye-bye.